every day drivers in the metro travel across bridges that are in poor condition. And a Scripps News investigation found that nationwide about 14,000 of those bridges have been in poor condition for more than a decade. Tonight you'll hear from two people in the metro who drive over bridges like these every day. Plus a structural engineer answering the question, are these bridges safe? And two industry professionals looking for solutions. First, let's go over to reporter Charlie Keegan, who's showing us just how widespread this issue is in our region. Charlie. Dia, both Kansas and Missouri are in the top 10 for the most bridges with poor ratings for more than 10 years. This map here from Scripps News highlights each one of those poor bridges in our area. But we started our story by turning the mic over to the people who drive over this bridge in West Line, Missouri. It's a good country, small town. This small town is home to a carpentry shop where every measurement and joint are important to the overall plans. And looking at my creation after it was done, that's the prize right there. Tyler Gillette expects that same attention to detail from the Department of Transportation. This bridge in Westline, Missouri is in poor condition. It's one of 804 Missouri bridges with a poor rating. I never thought there was really anything wrong with, like majorly wrong with it. The Sunflower State has 1,305 bridges in poor condition, including the 18th Street Expressway Bridge over the Kansas River in KCK. Do you want fries? Beth Davis uses the bridge on her way to work at Quickie's Restaurant. It seems to be okay to me, you know. Not, not real bumpy. Poor condition, does that mean a bridge is dangerous? It does not. We asked structural engineer Julie Sarson from Burns and McDonald to explain what it means for a bridge to be in poor condition. This bridge has been inspected routinely. She says bridges are broken into three basic sections. The substructure, like columns and piers. The superstructure, think girders on top of those columns. And the deck, where you actually drive. Each piece gets a score from zero to nine, nine being the best. If any section gets a four or below, the entire bridge gets a poor rating. It's still safe to drive on these bridges. In many cases, poor bridges have restrictions on the weight of vehicles and receive inspections once a year instead of every other year. Really getting into the nuts and bolts, literally, of these bridges and making sure that they are safe. The number of poor bridges is not a surprise in Missouri and Kansas. In 2020, Kansas launched the Eisenhower Legacy Transportation Program. It's a 10-year, $10 billion infrastructure program. The federal bipartisan infrastructure Infrastructure laws given Kansas $45 million specifically for bridges in 2022 and 2023. Like even if you had a magical wand, though, to, to say every bridge that's poor is fixed tomorrow, then the next day one might be rated poor, you know, right away, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's a it's a never ending battle. You know, I, I relate it to you know, maintaining your car. In Missouri, Governor Mike Parson launched the $430 million Focus on Bridges program in 2019. The goal is to repair or replace 250 bridges in five years. The federal infrastructure laws provided Missouri with an additional $100 million for bridges the past two years. It's good news for all of us, right, that they can start replacing some of these structures or repairing um, some of these structures faster. Sarson seen an increase in the number of government bridges projects. Really what you're seeing is every step of the process going on. The Buck O'Neill Bridge in Kansas City is a good example of how leaders identified issues with a 60 plus year old bridge and found a solution. We do not want to take chances on, you know, the lives of people driving across. Project manager James Flum said the new bridge should last 100 years. That's our Monday special. That's the kind of quality Davis looks forward to. Certainly, always. Any improvement is a, is a good thing and is a great plan by any measure. And good news for drivers over the 18th Street Expressway Bridge. Kansas is actually in the process of designing a new bridge and hopes to begin construction on it sometime in 2025. Back to you all.